so in the last session we have seen the difference between the summarize and summarize column function in power bi as an interview question in this session we will see how exactly we use the summarize and summarize column function so let's get started so we have got this table which has got product region and the sales amount now what i will do we will first create the table using summarize function so what i'll do is click on the new table option uh, let's just say that this new table is summarize table then we'll use the summarize function so i'll use the summarize function now what what is the name of the table the name of the table is sales comma okay now so what does the summarize function do it will summarize the table data so i want to summarize based on product so what i will do i'll select product then comma i just want to summarize with one column so i will not select group by column name too rather the new column that i want to create let's say the name of the column is sales data comma the expression what is the expression i want to do the sum right sum of what sum of the sales amount so i'll just close the bracket and if you see now this table now you guys can easily understand when i use summarize function first is sales table so as you can see this is the sales table data uh, then we have got sales product sales product means we are we have we are able to summarize with reference to the product column that's why we can see the summary of product okay earlier if you see it has got a b a b right but here if you can see a and b so because it was able to summarize so you will not see you will see unique values in the product okay if we had summarized for region you would have seen north and south that's how it works right uh, the next thing is that we wanted to provide the name of the new column so the name of the new column is sales data which you can see here and then what we need is a uh, expression that is sum so we want to do the sum right so i've used sum function wherein the sum was done so that's how we created the summarize table using the summarize function not now what we will do uh, now let's say i want to create summarize column table using the summarize column function so how can i do that go to click <coughs> so click on the new table uh, let's just call this table as summarize column table uh, now we'll use the summarize column function so summarize column func summarize column function i've selected then i want to group by let's say region this time around so i will select region uh, comma uh, the let's say the name of the new column is sales by region so i'll just say this as sales region and uh, so i'll just say that sales region is the name of the new column comma the expression would be same that is sum sum of what sales amount so i'll select the sales amount again and close the parenthesis click enter now as we can see we can see for north and south we have got the summary okay so that's how we can create the summarize table okay now the next thing that we want to see is how do we use these functions within a measure okay let's just see that so let's just say i want to create <coughs> now the next thing that we want to see is how to use these functions within a measure okay so what i'll do i'll just go to the modeling and click on the new measure option uh, let's say the first measure that I want to create is summarize measure. Okay. Now, if you directly try to use the summarize function, let's see what happens. So, summarize function. Let's say the name of the table is uh, sales, which is the name of the table, comma uh, group by let's say product, and again let's say sales product is the name of the new column. Now you will get an error if you try to do it like this. Sum function and sum of sales amount so i try to do the exact same thing which, uh, which which i was doing in the summarize table column but now if i enter as you can see we're getting an error the expression refers to multiple columns multiple columns cannot be converted to a scalar value that's the error we are getting so how do we resolve this so in order to resolve this we'll have to do one thing we cannot directly use the summarize function rather we can use the summx function so we can use the summx function in order to use the summarize table function now within the summx function the first argument that we need is table so as we already know that using summarize function we can create a new table so for this for this table i what i will do i'll use the summarize 
function and within the summarize function we can provide the data which we have been doing so again this is a product same thing which we are doing and uh, let's say the new column is uh, sales product okay and again the expression should be sum sum of what sum of sales amount click ok comma and okay now the next thing that we want for sum is expression so we already have created the expression right we have done the sum isn't it and that sum is nothing but sales product so i'll use this sales product as an expression and close the brackets and now i'll just now i'll just click enter now as we can see we are able to successfully create the measure using summarize function okay now let us quickly check if this actually works or not so what i'll do i will quickly so i have dragged two visuals to check if this really works and what i'll do i'll just add the from the sales column product then uh, region and then sales amount okay so i've dragged these and within here i will add the let's say i want to filter by product so what i will do and within this uh, and within this slicer let's say i want to use the product so product a and product b or let's say <coughs> and we'll use a slicer for region let's say i want to filter based on the region so i selected the region okay now let's see what happens when i try to add the new measure so let's add the new measure new measure is add and uh, okay now this is the new measure so i'll just add this and the moment i add it i can see the values here okay so this is perfectly fine right if i filter the measure is also getting filtered because so as we can see the values are also getting filtered okay this is this is because summarize function supports the row context that's the reason it will not work in the case of summarize column as i told in the previous session so this is working fine now let's do the same thing and create the summarize column measure so what i'll do i'll again go to modeling new measure let's say the name of this measure is summarize column measure now to use the summarize column function we will be creating a measure which is called as summarize column measure and let's say again we'll do the same thing we'll use this sumx function so i'll use sumx function within sumx first argument is table let's say table we want to provide from the summarize column function again the group by remains the same so just like we did some time ago sales product comma um, the new column is let's say sales product is the new column let's say comma the expression that we want to provide is sum so it will do the sum and what it should add it should add sales amount so i'll select sales amount <coughs> then i'll close the brackets and the sumx expression that we want to provide is the same expression the sales product we have already created right so i will use the sales product as the expression and close the bracket and the function and the measure is ready to use so let's just try to add this particular new measure summarize column in this table let's see what happens so i try to add the summarize column measure and we are getting an error okay summarize column function does not support row context that's why we are getting this error now in order to fix this what i will do i'll remove this okay and if we just try to add this particular uh, in the if you try to add this measure in the in the card we'll see summarize column it looks here fine okay so that, uh, so one last thing before we stop the session i want you to understand one thing some concepts you know when we practice we understand better it doesn't matter how much others try to teach you but you understand better when you yourself get your hands dirty into it and practice a lot i'm sharing the data set as well as the pbix file Please practice. Thank you so much.